of Des Moines Metro School Boards met tonight discussing whether or not their COVID mitigation strategies need changed. This is happening as the state reports a surge in hospitalizations and a rise in cases. Now districts must also prepare for the Omicron variant. Local 5's Larissa Leone joins us in the studio with Ankeny and Waukee's decisions. Samantha, Stephanie, Waukee School Board members suggest the district lean on local health officials to help make the decisions surrounding the COVID-19 mitigation strategies they implement in schools. I spoke to health officials and the president of Iowa State Education Association. They explained that what school boards should focus on while making these choices. School board members came together tonight in Waukee and Ankeny to discuss possible adjustments to the return to learn plan. We're going to start with communication for, uh, from the public in just a moment. A conversation Iowa State Education Association President Mike Brennick says everyone should be a part of. We all need to remember that we need to protect our students and our staff from contracting a virus and all conversations need to take place and every voice needs to be heard when these decisions are being made. At Waukee school board meeting community members shared how they feel about the proposed plans and many of the comments centered around the masking policies. It's not your job to protect my child's health. That's my job. Your job is to ensure that our children are taught reading, writing, history, math, science, and other things. Free I can't do that to my children again. I feel like you have to leave it up to the parents because there's more stories like this. I can't tell them that they have to wear those again. I can't do it, and I'm asking you not to make me have them do it. Local health officials say it's vitally important to monitor your children before you send them to school. Well, we recommend that everyone who is age five and above go ahead and get the vaccine. That's, that's the number one prevention. Secondly, this is a time where parents really need to pay attention to how their children feel every single morning. And breaking tonight, masks won't be required within Ankeny schools. Ankeny school board members voted to remove the district's mask mandate after discussions of extending its plan through December 21st. The council voted four to three to remove the requirement. Live in studio, Larissa Leone, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Larissa, thank you. Many schools in central Iowa still have mask mandates. Now, those include Des Moines Public Schools, Ames, Urbandale, and West Des Moines. Johnston voted last month to no longer require masks except on bus. A Southeast Polk requires masks for preschool through sixth grade.